everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. We continue with Cobra Convergence 7, and I have a special guest. Uh, we have the Photo Viper. Photo Viper, please introduce yourself and tell the folks what you do. Uh, hello, uh, I'm Mike Horsley, um, known as the Photo Viper on YouTube, and uh, I'm uh, I'm into toy photography um, with a focus on mostly GI Joe. Um, uh, modern and vintage uh for the last year or two it's been mostly a, a focus on vintage um but uh but i dig the modern stuff too um not too much into classified it's not my scale but uh you know the four inch guys just are awesome so <laughs> but you stick to that uh 118 scale that three and three quarter to four inch uh four inch scale um, so you said you, uh, you uh, do toy photography with both vintage and modern. Um, what are the strengths and weaknesses of each? Like, what do you like to do with the modern that you can't do with the vintage? What do you like to do with the vintage that you can't do with the modern? Uh, that's a great question. Um, uh, of course, this is just my opinion. Um, you know, everybody has their own, their own biases and everything. Um, I feel that modern is superior in every way as far as articulation sculpting um posing uh uh basic photogenicness you know uh, they, they just look a lot better on the camera up close um more realistic and uh it's easier to stand them up and get them in real dynamic poses and stuff you know but um the the drawback is uh well, when I pick up a, uh, when I'm holding a vintage figure, I'm 12 years old again. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, it doesn't work like that with the modern stuff for me. Um, they're, they're great for photography, but uh, just something, something magic happens with the vintage stuff. So um, I've been kind of focusing back on that lately. Um, how did you get into G.I. Joe the first time, way, way back in the day? Uh, well, um, in 82, my mom, uh, picked me up a breaker figure, um, and, uh, at some breaker, thrift huh? store, it was like a pick and save or something like that. And, uh, uh it was on after that. I mean, <laughs> I had to have them all, you know what I mean? Hey, <laughs> I was just discussing with this with somebody else that it seems like, almost everybody's first figure if they started in 82 was either breaker or flash and i'm i also mm. started with breaker so it's nice <laughs> to meet a fellow uh, breaker um, yeah. uh so did you uh did you get back into gi joe as an adult how did how did that happen uh yeah well i um uh, um i collected as a kid obviously and uh you know, turned a teenager, started, you know, girls and cars and everything, got rid of my entire collection, which I regret so bad. <laughs> and, uh, and then, you know, I, uh, you know, grew up, joined the workforce. And uh, one day it was in uh, 2009. Uh, I was working retail and my store got some GI Joe products in some modern stuff some 25th stuff and uh and i was like what gi joe oh my god so <laughs> i started collecting them again and uh it's it's been out of control ever since but <laughs> uh, uh but you do you do primarily uh toy photography how did you get into that how did you pick that up and decide that that's what you wanted to run with um I've just always, uh, I've always been a, a, a photography buff. I've always liked cameras and taking pictures of things, landscapes and, and, uh, um, weddings and parties and stuff like that, you know? And, uh, it just seemed like, a a natural thing to, you know, to go into toys and, uh, you know, I had a bunch of toys laying around and, and, um, it just it just seemed natural to just start shooting them, you know. <laughs> uh, do you have any any favorite shoots that you've done? Um, I I like the ones with fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> huh. 
I like pyrotechnics with my with my toys. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So you you actually get fire, and I've have seen some of these. Um, they're very dynamic, right? Uh, is it how hard is it to do that though? I mean, you you've been doing this for a while. I'm sure you have all the techniques down. But for those who are not familiar with the process of how these amazing photos are taken, uh, kind of walk us through how you do some of these things. Um, well, with uh, with pyrotechnics, it's all about shutter speed. Um, you you want the fastest fastest uh, shots you can get to capture you know every little spark, and uh, so and then of course you know it's it's with photography it's a balance between your uh, your shutter speed and your your aperture, and uh, so you got to kind of balance it out. Um, but uh, it's it's hit and miss and a lot of practice and. Uh, and you know um trial and error a lot of it's trial and error until you get it down but yeah uh ph photography uh, seems to be growing like toy photography seems to be growing people are starting to um get into that as a way of enjoying their collection enjoying their toys uh but for those who might be thinking about it uh but haven't tried it yet do you have any uh, any suggestions, any thoughts uh, uh, for folks who might want to get into that, um, things that they should look out for, or or just in general ideas of what they might expect if they try to take on this art form themselves? Um, absolutely. I would suggest that anybody that's, uh, that's thinking about shooting their toys, um, pick up a camera and start doing it. Uh, you don't have to have an expensive camera. Uh, most people are shooting with their phones nowadays. I started off sh shooting with my phone, with a potato, twenty-year-old Samsung, and uh, <laughs> and uh, it just went from there. Uh, eventually, I did buy a uh, a more expensive camera uh, um, that does help with uh, the faster shutter speeds and all that, with you know shooting fireworks and that sort of thing. Um, but uh, but. I mean, today's phones, um, my Canon camera is like a 21 megapixel and my phone is like more than that. So, I mean, most <laughs> iPhones are like double that, yeah. you know? And, uh, and honestly, uh, a phone can, can get really down there and really close to the figures and into little tight areas more than a bigger camera can. So sometimes I actually substitute uh, my phone for shots for certain shots because you can just get right in there you know and not, not disturb the the scene or anything and and get those you know upward shots that really look dynamic and realistic you know but uh, uh so i would say uh uh pretty much just get in there and start doing it grab a camera and grab a figure and start shooting i i think i i always recommend if people want to uh, try something new you start with what you have you know, you don't yep. necessarily have the best equipment and you don't necessarily have the most skill when you're starting out, but you start with what you have and you build from there. Um, Absolutely. So Cobra Convergence 7, uh, by the time folks see this, we should be in it. Uh, but uh, we are recording this, of course, well in advance of that. This is uh, re pre-recorded, uh, but it will go up on the same day that you will present your Cobra Convergence uh, content. And we're all looking forward to that. Now, I know it's early right now as we're speaking, but do you have thoughts? Do you have inspiration? Do you have ideas of what people might expect when they check out the Photo Viper uh, for Cobra Convergence 7? Um, I have some ideas uh nothing solidified just yet i do have three or four things that uh that i'm working on um uh expect something unexpected <laughs> that's, that's the best uh, i am doing i am working on one thing with uh scrap iron and um it should be interesting Scrap iron is a favorite. Scrap iron, um, underutilized and often forgotten guy. He get, he deserves a bit more attention. That's that's awesome. <laughs> um, so you you said that you focus uh, mostly on GI Joe. Do you have any other passions? Any other um collections or just anything else that you really love 
outside of GI Joe that uh, that you'd like to share? Uh, of course, um, every now and then I shoot uh, He Man stuff, Motu. Um, and actually, uh, every time I post a Motu video, they they blow up pretty good. So there's a lot of Motu fans out there. Nice. Yes. Um, yes it's are. not my main cam, but I do have a, a decent collection of them, and I like to shoot them every now and then. They're pretty fun. Yeah. And, and and audience, when he says shoot your toys, he's talking about shooting with a camera. All right. <laughs> yeah, Let's of course. <laughs> These things are old and expensive now. He's talking about shooting with a camera. Just yes. <laughs> making sure we're clear. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, um, uh, uh, Cobra Convergence Seven. I know that you have uh, submitted some things in the past. Um, uh, do you have any uh, Cobra Convergence memories? Any favorite moments? Uh, and anything? I know that it's maybe a little bit of a sneak preview because you're you're in on the the planning phase and you're in with the 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 groups where we plan everything. But do you have any favorite moments or anything that you're looking forward to this year? Um. Uh, my favorite moments of the Cobra Convergences were uh, mostly when you guys got together and did the storylines. I love that. It was, they're they're awesome. <laughs> they're a crack up and and they're just amazing. Um, this is the first year I'm actually uh, 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 an official participant. Um, although I've I've submitted every year since it started, and, and uh, even when it before when it was just Cobra Month. Uh, and uh yes, i would always way submit. back then yeah yeah <laughs> but um uh it's 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 cool to be like an official participant this year and uh and i'm gonna do something real special so <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really glad you're in you, you probably should have been in in years past i take that responsibility on myself i i need to make sure that folks like the, you who are committed to uh creating you know fan works like you are are included i'm working on that i'm trying to make sure nobody's excluded but i'm really glad they're in i'm i'm so happy that you'll be uh joining us this year i'm really looking forward to to seeing what you you do um you mentioned the storylines uh you're not the first to mention the storylines we may have to do uh, another one in the in the future you know um is that something you would do though would you participate in a storyline Oh, absolutely. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, we'll have to, we'll have to come up with an idea. T Timmer had the last idea that was entirely Timmer's idea. So uh, <laughs> uh, we'll have to, we'll have to see what we can come up with. Um, so mm -hmm. Masters of the Universe uh, is a, kind of a side thing that you do as well. Mostly GI Joe, mostly photography. You do, or you do a lot of photography. Um, do you do like, like, non-toy photography as well or is it are you focused on the toy stuff um mostly nowadays mostly toy photography um i if i'm out somewhere and i see a nice sunset or something i'll still you know i'll still shoot it if i see a a butterfly landing on a flower or something and it looks real awesome i'll still take the pictures you know but uh mostly focus on toys um, and where can folks find you? We talked about um, YouTube. You are on YouTube, and uh, you your link to your YouTube channel will be uh, in the description of this interview. Uh, Any place else people can find your work? Uh, yes. Um, uh, I'm on uh, Facebook at Michael Horsley, and uh, I'm on Instagram at, uh, at Mike Horsley, or at Horsley Mike on Instagram. Uh, that's, that's excellent. Um, I, I did remember you being on Instagram. I wanted to make sure we got that in, uh, because I want people to, to be able to find what you're doing, uh, find your work. Um, but, uh, but as, as we know, um, uh, YouTube is, you know, videos, it's not necessarily like still photography, but you do still photography. So, um, I, although I've seen plenty of your work, some of those folks out there may not have. So describe for us how you integrate your photography into a YouTube video and what might they expect to see if they catch you on YouTube. Okay. Well, um, uh, generally, I, uh, I put together a scene um, with basically a storyline in my head. And um, I'll, I'll build the dioramas and I'll set the figures up and I'll shoot them all. And um, then I kind of put it together like a uh, 
uh, you know, like a movie um, set to music usually. Um, I get a lot of copyright strikes for my music that I play. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, I it's usually, that. they usually let, they usually let them slide because I'm not monetized. So it doesn't matter, you know. Yeah. Um, but uh, I kind of just set it up like a story. And, and sometimes I just set up one scene and shoot everything and put it all and just uh, lay it to music like that. And sometimes I'll kind of move stuff around. Um, if it's a more, a longer story or more dynamic story, uh, not like stop motion, but more like chunkimation kind of, yeah. you know. And, uh, and sometimes, there, sometimes there's motion in them a little bit. Sometimes there's not. Uh, now and then I'll add a little bit of video, I'll like uh, take a video camera and just pan across, you know, the diorama or something, or, you know, if I'm using like a uh, fog machines or, or something like that, uh, just to give a, you know, the general feel of it. And then, uh, and then just still shots and a lot of everything going on, you know. Uh, so, uh, and you're, you're very experienced with still photography and toy photography. Uh, but, uh, just reminding everybody that, um, on YouTube, you have the creativity to do some of those, uh, things and to, uh, add some additional dimensions to it. So I wanted to make sure that people knew that they, they were going to, uh, catch some really creative stuff if they check out your channel. Um, so, um, um, before we, I, I usually ask everyone who their favorite Cobra is, but before we get there, um, I wanted to, um, since we're on the topic of your, your YouTube channel and we've talked about your Instagram, um, uh, for us right now, Cobra Convergence is still a little ways away. Uh, what do you have planned other than Cobra Convergence for the future for your creative endeavors? Um... Uh, honestly, uh, I'm just, uh, I think a lot more of the same, um, with, uh, you know, uh, well, hopefully, uh, you know, obviously, uh, uh, we improve with age and experience, but, uh, you know, um, I, I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. Um, I don't, I don't have a really huge channel, but, um, uh, the fans that I have, the subscribers that I have are really, uh, really into it. And I get a lot of good feedback from them, and it's it's really fun. Good, good. You mentioned getting better with age, uh, and you have been doing this for a while. <laughs> Do you ever go back and look at your old stuff and like oh, with yeah. the eye that you have now and think, ah, I'd like to, I'd like to shoot that again? Oh yeah, absolutely. And and I have done some reshoots before too. Uh, uh, not necessarily shot for shot, but um, you know themes. Um, Stories that I've done with uh, certain characters that, that I really enjoy that I wanted to revisit. I've, I've yeah, completely reshot certain things um, years later, even. And uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that, those years, that makes a, a difference. I mean, that's that's experience. That's uh, probably better equipment. So yeah, um, but uh, but but you are right. Over time and with practice, we get better. And I mean, that's the name of the game. Um, so let's talk about Cobra. This Cobra Convergence, let's talk about Cobra. Uh, do you have a favorite Cobra character, one that's the most important to you, one that you connect the most with? Um, I do. Um, I would say, if he counts, Zartan, although he, he is counts. Dreadnought. Um, if it was just straight Cobra, I would say uh, Cesspool. Now that's... See, both of those are interesting choices. So you got Zartan, who, I mean, he works for Cobra. He's worked for Cobra a lot. He, he's on Cobra Island all the time. He almost became a permanent resident on Cobra Island, but he escaped. Um, but I, you know, Zartan counts, absolutely. And then you've got Cesspool. Now, that's an interesting choice. Um uh, what um, I, Zartan's real popular. I mean, I, I don't think that anybody um, would wonder why you like Zartan. Zartan is awesome, um, but <laughs> Cesspool is maybe less known, especially by fans of like '80s GI Joe. Talk us about how you connected with that particular villain. Um, I uh, I've always uh, I don't know. I I really love the Toxo Vipers. 
and uh and uh the orange i love the orange stuff um i'm I'm not really a 90s kid i'm older i I grew up in the 80s you know um but uh but i i've grown an appreciation for the 90s stuff and uh and orange actually works for cesspool and the toxo vipers because it's kind of a a hazard color you know what i mean yeah and uh it it just kind of it kind of all fits together and uh of course growing up we had you know captain planet Yep. And all that kind of stuff. And it kind of goes right along with all that, you know, and he just wants to destroy the environment and release toxic chemicals. And I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm glad you pointed that out. Um, I think we do have, I mean, we have a lot of fans of nineties GI Joe, uh, but there is a little bit of maybe a dichotomy between eighties fans and nineties fans. And a lot of eighties fans may not know that much about cesspool, but if you don't know about cesspool, check that figure out it's wild it's wild and crazy there's a lot there's just a lot to it so for those out there who who are not familiar with cesspool you know (laughs) definitely one to check out he's got like the the facial scar and all that too that's wild it's wild one of the best sculpts in the line in modern and vintage yeah and that that huge cobra that (laughs) it's impressive it's it, it mm. a lot of work went into it uh it, it's um i'm glad you pointed that out that is one that we don't hear a lot about i've not i've not reviewed that figure yet but i i gotta get to it i gotta get to it um so <laughs> um but when you were a kid well when you were a kid or even now are you are you with cobra or are you with the joes are you are you a saint or cobra. a sinner are you a good guy or a bad guy <laughs> Cobra for sure. All right, well, fine. That's, <laughs> that's all right. This uh, it it fits with the theme, so I guess and that's, that's absolutely okay. All right. Um, so now we've um, established now that you are uh, for the villains. Um, so uh, uh, so thanks for that. Um, and um, uh, and you're in Cobra Convergence this year. You you're coming up with it's going to be something special. Um, it'll post on your YouTube channel, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, so, like I said, there will be a link for that. Um, I want to make sure that everybody um, uh, checks you out. Uh, you've been doing this for quite some time. Uh, you have uh, a lot of experience at this now. So you, you and you've been part of the the fan creative community for part uh, for quite some time. And I I, I want to make sure that everybody knows where to find you, and uh, we'll make sure to to get that link in. Uh, so we have a few more minutes here, and um, you, you've given us a, a lot to think about. Cesspool, that's a lot to think about. Um, but uh, before we wrap up, I guess um, I'd like to uh, open the floor to you and uh, let you say any parting words that you might want to say to our audience. Um, i just like to say that uh, um, I'm proud to be here. And uh, I'm glad to actually meet you in person, talk to you face uh, after all these years. It's awesome. Yeah. And uh, I, I never get to I never get to make it to Joe Fest. I'm kind of landlocked, but um, it's nice to have a face to face with you and uh, actually communicate. And yeah, uh, nice, it's nice pretty to see cool. You as well. <laughs> yeah. And uh, everybody else that obviously anybody that's watching this is already uh, watching your channel, but. Um, uh man you're you're the best gi joe youtuber out there right now i mean uh thank you i i I do appreciate that i want to make sure that people know about you though you you've got your own thing going on and we want to make sure that people are aware of it but but thank you thank you very much and it is nice to talk we we have communicated we we've uh been in the same circle for years now and yeah. <laughs> this is the first time we've actually talked like uh one to one isn't it that's uh, it's yeah. funny how that happens uh, <laughs> uh so uh, yeah i think i think we'll go ahead and wrap it up um i will reiterate uh, everybody should check out uh your youtube channel at the time this interview goes up we will be in cobra convergence it will will go up on the same day as photo viper's presentation uh so skip over to his channel 
right away to check that out and and uh, see what he's come up with. Something that will be a surprise. Expect the unexpected. Uh, but for now, I guess uh, I guess we'll wrap that up. And thank you very much, Photo Viper, for spending some time with me. And I uh, look forward to seeing what you do for Cobra Convergence Seven. Thank you. Have a great day. All right. Catch you later. <laughs>